hello friends in this video we will complete our category section today we will display category list inside add product form by dynamic leave from mysql table but before that i want to show you some changes i done behind the scene i add a scroll view inside div where we are displaying product data via ajax inside admin panel second when products will fetching from mysql table that time we will display a animated image for loading let me show you if i click on products at the starting you will see a animated gif file image for loading and second this is the scroll view our product list okay you can get this code from my github i already update okay so now in the last video we add a category name and id with products by manually but today we will display category listing dynamically so for that go to your favorite editor open resources view admin and add product blade file okay we are getting id from products form add product form so we need only display category data from mysql for uh, what we are trying to do let me show you as an example app your model name is cat fetch dot all and let me reload you will see list of array that is our category data so we need to display this our place of option of select for that start here for each and app your model name you can use here variable i prefer this type and add a new variable c data you can use any name for this here and for each that's all inside this option you will add a your variable and column name of category name same name we have inside our mysql table and value you will fill simply c data only id save it reload your blade you will see you have a list of categories inside your drop down so let me inspect to see value of your category id now you can see we have already this so let me try to add a new product just for testing product code and size some info click on submit button that product has been added now you can see here is your product if you will click on edit you will see nothing is image okay now before uh, i mean after this i need to display category name also in this table with products for that we need a join join is combination of your two or more tables Lara will make it very simple we need only 
combined inside your models here is cat model here is products model you need only this products model to make a join with categories just make a function public function make it cats you can name it anything that you will use this later return the value use this function belongs to here you will put app and your model name is category s so that's it uh, go to your route to test this function i put here new route just for testing i name it test and create a new function to return the value so we done app your products model if you put here all you know it will return all data of your products table it will display products table data but we need category name also so for that you will do with here you will use name of function from here okay and get give it now reload you will see nothing cat is null because we have to tell system we have a a column which is both side here is id and products table we have a cat id so we will put this as a common id that is your foreigner key okay save it now reload this now you can see cache data is come so we need to display this inside this table for that close this mm. Where we are displaying for only products, we will change this to with cats and make it get function. Let's save it. Go to your resources admin and add product. Here you have a table. Uh, first of all, make it one more column. You will say yeah style will be same you can use padding is optional is that's for designing path here is category name thus simply or you can say only category save it now go to your products blade where we are fetching this data from ajax okay here you will add same place of that after product code you will add here just copy this paste here if you put here cat name it will not come let me show you it will not show it's empty you have to put cats okay now reload you can see is cat one cat two cat three cat second is all data is according to category that's very nice i think okay here is simple mistake of our designing path go to table td make it call span 5 reload you can see is now 13 and is your uh, let me add a new you will see in the last category one for testing 
test pro test sum here is price some info click on submit and in the last you will see is your category one your latest product okay it's all dynamically is scroll view and here is the gif you can get all data from my github thank you guys thank you